Well, hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Miss Crochet and Coffee here. And today is finally the day that I get to show you something that I've been so super excited about. Yay! You guys know we all get excited over new craft supplies, so let me have this, okay? Either way, this box is my new set of chameleon markers. Now you guys know I have the separate packs of chameleons. You can buy them separately for like 20 bucks or something. Um, but for my birthday, my husband, because we were making up my birthday because it was so bad, decided he was going to get me a late birthday gift. So thank you, Mr. Coffee. Um, and he bought me this, the chameleon set of markers. Now, I'll tell you right now, they're not cheap. So I'm just going to put that out there. Um, so yeah, so this is how the box came. It did have another sleeve on the top, but obviously I took the sleeve off and because it was paper, I just threw it away. Um, at the beginning of the video, you should see a picture of the chameleon marker box anyways. So yeah, so this is the box that it came in. Now, normally this box is black, but for some reason I got the white one and I was told that it was like a limited time offer thing or something or a new packaging, whatever. So I was like, I don't really give a crap what the box looks like as long as the markers on the inside do the same thing. So let's get into it. Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day. And so this also comes with this very convenient strap for if you want to take this on the go somewhere, which it's kind of big, so I don't know why or who would take it on the go. But if you want to take it on the go, you can. So, all you do is lift up this top box to reveal another box. Yay! All right, so you flip the top part back, and as you can see there, there are all 52 of the markers. Now, it comes with... 50 actual color markers you get a detail pin which is like the fine liners and then you get the colorless blender so and you also get a pair of tweezers to help you replace the tips so yeah so that is all the colors that come in this box now the box is really cool because you can sit it up like this while you're working so that you have all the markers at your disposal. Now, I still have trouble with this box because whenever you go to put something back in, if you push too hard, it'll snap close on you. But, you know, it is what it is. So I'm gonna color just a little bit to show you again, if you didn't, if you missed the first video, I'm gonna show you what these markers do. So I'm gonna pull out my Jade Summers Mandala, my flower mandala book to show you. Now, this is one of the images I colored I was just practicing with them because, you know, this is a learning curve. And it takes a lot of practice to color with them. So I, I was trying to teach myself and I've messed up a few times. Like the flower looks great, but the out the background, no. One thing I've learned, stop trying to do the backgrounds and focus on the flowers. Oh, that's another one I did. Which I would say if you've never seen these markers before, but if you've been on my channel for at least the last couple of weeks, you've probably seen them. Um, but we're going to do a short little tutorial here for you, but i got to find my piece of paper. Because even though the black pages don't bleed as bad as like a regular coloring book with the white background, uh, I like to still keep that cover paper back there. So we're going to go ahead and color. And I have noticed that for the most part, these colors are true to what's on there. So that is a good thing. So we're going to try, let's go for red coral. So this is red coral. And I'm actually going to pause you and bring you down a little bit. All right. So now you can actually see what I'm doing. So this is what the chameleon pins look like. They have a brush tip and a nib tip. They say chameleon on it. And it has the color family RD2. And then at the top on the cap, it says red coral RD2, and it has that on both sides. Now, if you've never seen a chameleon marker, this is the colorless blender side, and then these are the actual, like, if I take this off, this is the nib tip, and then this is the brush tip side over here. And like I said before, you can get color toppers, and I do have all of them, so I got the color toppers on my own, and then Mr. Coffee got me the set. So we're going to try these out. So, let's see. And I like using the brush tip. The only thing I don't like about these markers is, as you can see there on the brush tip, 
you when you put these together with another color so let's say we're gonna what color do we got red coral and we're gonna go for this peony pink so the one thing I don't like is when you go to blend these colors, you have to make them kiss essentially. So you have to put them together, hold it right side up, and then they have to kiss. The part that gets me is the, the inside tip here. Like you see the colorless blend or the blender in there. That blender has the color in it. Okay. And because it has the color in it, you have to put these two together. When you do that, it smashes the top of that, uh, tip so you have to be careful because and of course it fits on there perfectly so when you see it in there if i can get it to focus there no don't focus on all that back there come on come on there you go see how it's kissing in there so you turn it right side up like this so that 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 ink has time to pull down into the tip and you'll notice the tip of it change color and usually it tells you you can hold it on there for up to, you know, 15 or 35 seconds. And then when you go to color with it, and I like to do the U shape with it. Like I will do the U shape to let the color variant come through. You don't want to go too fast because then you'll get the streaking. So just like this. And I know there's a big shadow on it and I'm going to move the light here in a second. So we're going to move the light. Uh-oh. All right, crisis averted. So as it dries, you will notice the color change. So we're going to do that again. We're going to hold it on there for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to go to the next petal. You also have to watch because these markers can be super juicy. And if you're not careful, they will bleed out to the color that you want it to. It'll bleed out the size like on that first leaf we just did. So you just want to be careful and not go too fast. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to do six that time. And just like with regular markers, you know, if you go too fast and you get those streaks, you know, just try to go back over it while it's still wet. Just try to go slow. And it is a learning process with these markers. And when I have, probably, I have another gift coming in uh, this week. So I will probably show it for next week. And it has to deal with the markers. But... This 52 pack can be found on Amazon or even on the Chameleon website. So if you are interested in them, I will I will link the Amazon link. I'm not sure which avenue Mr. Coffee went to get these, but I found them on Amazon. When I first saw them, they were on Amazon. So two, three, four, and of course, you want to wait for it to dry to fully see the effect of the color changing. Because looks can be deceiving sometimes whenever you're looking at it uh, while it's wet. Like this one here looks like nothing really happened. But then as soon as it dries, you'll see that color vibrant as all get out. One, two, three, four, five. Six. And I, I just love these markers. When I first seen that there were color changing markers, I was like, oh, yeah, I have to try them. And I think Crayola has like twistables or something that are like these. But I really wanted them in a marker. And when I seen these, I was like, uh, yeah, I got to get those. And I knew it was going to be a learning curve. I just didn't realize how much of a learning curve because you have to learn like math. And as you guys know, Miss Coffee don't math too. Four, 
So this is how I use my chameleon markers. And I love doing mandalas with them because it's easier for me to practice because I have to keep doing the same sequence over and over again. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's why whenever you guys see me coloring uh, anything with them, it's in the mandala because I'm teaching myself with the mandala because of the repetition of it. And then when I feel a little bit more comfortable with them, I will move to like a normal coloring book and see if I can color a coloring page with them. But I keep trying to do the background and I tried to do it in that first purple image I showed you. And it didn't turn out too bad, but I wasn't like the fondest of it. So we're gonna put that color away. So we did red and pink. So we're gonna put the color toppers away. And the color toppers, are again sold separately so and they link together like this but I just want the purples so let's see here let's go I want to do like a light purple do I have the light purple and then I found out that one of my yeah I do one of my color alert top color toppers came broken because I haven't used every single color but when I went to go use the one color I found out it was broken luckily I had just gotten these so I am getting it replaced so that replacement should be in this week so I'm pretty excited about that I just hate having to send the other one back so we're gonna do purple grape and then we're gonna do lavender and we're going to do that on the flowers on the outside. Let's get you in the business. Let's, let's get you in the business. Boom. We're just going to scoot you over this way a little bit. Straighten you up. All right. Now you can actually see what I'm doing. So, I mean, because you, I've already showed you how to use the chameleon markers. Now I'm just showing you, like, the 52 pack. But this pack comes with essentially all the ones you can buy separately. So if you just want the skin tone, you can buy just the skin tone. If you just want, you know... The pastel colors or floral colors and stuff like that, you can buy those separately. So, now the hard part is... I see right here, it looks like nothing's happening. I think I used the colorless blender. I didn't use that other purple. So, we'll do every other one with the colorless blender then. Yep, we did. One, two, three, four, five, six. You just got to keep your counts. The only thing I don't like about them is if you skip a space, like if there's a little spot that you missed, you can't go back and fill it in because at that point the gradient is different. One, two, three, four, five. So I figured if nothing else, I'll color this flower with you. One. Two, three, four, five. And you can do back and forth like a typewriter. Uh, you can do like an L or an O, like a round shape when you're doing it. One, two, three, four, five. And the reason why you keep hearing me count to five is because that's to stay consistent, because it seems to be consistent when you have the right timing. So to stay consistent, I count to five so that it looks like, you know, the same shading on all of them. So like, the, it looks like the, sh the shading starts in the same place. One, two, three, four, like I said, the only downfall is it's if you mess up on a spot, you can't go back and fix it because you don't know at what, you know, timing interval it was that it decided to uh, mess up. So you have to be like, you got to go slow. 
so that you don't miss any spots. One, two, three, four, five. And yes, it does get a little tedious, but I like the way it turns out, so I'm, I'm okay with that. Having to constantly count and keep track of, you know, whatever. It, it does get tedious, but it's a cool, cool effect. One, two, three, four, five. You just gotta go real slow with it. All right, so now we're done with the colorless blender. Now we're gonna go for the actual color I was trying to, which is the mauve. So, or the lavender, I'm sorry, that's lavender. One, that was on there longer than that, but you get the idea. So we're just gonna kind of a gradient up to the dark purple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now the reason I'm counting the seven this time is because when I have corners like this that I have to get into and bring it up to a point and then make the U shape. It gives me more time before it gradients into the dark purple. So we're just going to U-shape that all the way up there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day. You get to get another coloring video. And I know they're not everybody's cup of tea, but it's what I like to do. So, you know, I got to do what makes me happy too, you know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Plus, in this life, people are going to hate on you no matter what you do. So you might as well enjoy yourself, right? Right. So we're just going to fill this in. One, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Again, if you keep your times right, it seems to almost be consistent with how long it takes it to gradient. And I've been practicing with these. I, I've, I did more coloring this weekend than anything else. And it seems that one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. It seemed like the more consistent I was with the timing is the more consistent the color stayed or the gradient. And one more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, do you need these markers? No. Did I need these markers? No. Uh, you can always, with alcohol markers, you can always touch the tips and get this same effect. It won't be as fluid as this, 
but you can still get the same effect. Um, you can also do it with, because I got a tip from someone, and they said as long as you do alcohol marker to alcohol marker tip, and then if you do water-based colors, so water-based to water-based tip, they will gradient like this, but you never want to mix water-based with alcohol marker. Don't do that. That's a no-no. That's, that's what the person said anyways. Um, oh, I just put that back in there without putting the cap back on it. So yes, so this collection comes with your grays, your browns. Uh, it has greens and purples and pinks and yellows and blue. My favorite right now is the indigo. So let's do a little indigo and coral. Or should we do dark blue? Let's do dark blue. I wonder how these two would look together. When I say dark blue, I mean blue violet with indigo. One, two, three. We're just going to go for these little leaves here. One, two, three. Because they're smaller leaves, I don't want to go too long. But I do really like them. One, two, three. They're a lot of fun to use. And once you get that timing down, they actually look really, really good. One, two, three. Not sure if this one transitioned or not. But again, when you look at them, sometimes at first they don't look like they're doing anything. And then when you let that dry, you'll see the gradient like you, like on here, how you can see the gradient really good. So sometimes you just have to let them dry. We're just gonna put that back in there. My favorite color right now though is this one. So we're gonna try, let's do, what goes with brown? Let's do a warm, I think that's the one that was broken, though. Is that the one that was broken? Yeah, that's the one that's broken. Poof. Um, let's try... I don't think I have any other yellow ones. You know what? We'll do a light peach. And when I say that, I meant like the color topper, so it's light peach. And then we're going to do... This is my favorite color to use right now, which is in the brown family. It's hot cocoa. Again, take your time, try not to go too fast. Let's do it for four seconds. One, two, three, four. We're gonna do two flowers in the middle here.
one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. No, color on this one. But yeah, I will try to remember to put the video for the chameleons up in the eye because this really wasn't a tutorial. Uh, this is more so just showing you the 52 pack and what all it comes in it. Uh, again, you get the colorless blender, you get the fine liner uh, pen, which it is double sided. So you get a 0.6 millimeter on one side and a 0.4 millimeter on the other for your fine liner. You also get a colorless blender that is has a nib tip and then a brush tip. You also get, look at out of the business. You also get this convenient little, and I'll open this up for you guys so you can see what's in here. You get this pair of tweezers, and then, I don't know if I can get the other part out, but uh, down in the abyss in there, there is uh, the replacement tips for the marker, so if you ever need to replace the tips. And this is so you don't have to uh, touch that marker top because of it being wet, you don't want ink all over your hands, so yeah. And then in this set, you get, let's see, what colors do you get in this set? I'm trying to bring it over, but apparently it just got stuck on the table. So these are all the colors you get in the set. So you go from Dusty Rose to Bubblegum to Fuchsia, Peony Pink, Red Coral, Vermilion, Crimson Red, Roll Tide, Burgundy, Tangerine, Seville Orange, Mellow Yellow, Warm Sunset, Summer Set, Summer Sun, Spring Meadow, Olive, oh, hold on. I'm about to knock stuff off the table. Olive green, green apple, dark sage, green grass, which I really like that color, evergreen, lagoon, turquoise, baby blue, sky blue, cornflower blue, aquamarine, royal blue, indigo, lavender, uh, blue violet, deep violet, mauve, uh, purple grape, nude, sand, Bisque, light peach, back over here we got fawn, uh, taupe, caramel, hot cocoa, cinnamon, which I've never used that one. I have to use that one. Burnt umber, bark, neutral gray number four, cool gray number five, cool gray number eight, cool gray number nine, warm gray number three, warm gray number seven, deep black and then you have the detail pen and the colorless blender at the end there so that is all of the 52 colors that you get in there or the 52 pens because the colorless blender is not a color and again you get it in this cool case which does come with instruction pamphlets in the back of it to tell you a little bit more about chameleon in their products so you get those cool pamphlets in the back there which i just kind of left them back there because trial and error for me i'm a hands-on learner so, we're going to try this cinnamon. We're just going to try it with the colorless blender. I don't have enough brain powder to figure out what color would look okay with it. Alright, so let's do this flower. What, you want to come back down into the business? Alright, come back down into the business. Alright, so we're going to scoot you over a little bit so you can see where I'm coloring. Some of these are a little scratchy. I think they're like that at first when you first get them, and then the more you use them, the more they'll 
uh, not be so scratchy. I had a couple of them when I first started that were really, really scratchy, and the more I used them, uh, the less scratchy they became. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And it reminds me of a fall color. Let's see if it dries that color. Yeah, because the other two flowers over here don't look like they gradiate, gradiated very well. But with the color of a splendor, obviously it will. One, two, three. something down here. Cap back on it. We're going to let that dry for a few minutes. So yeah, so that is the 52 set of the chameleon markers. I absolutely love them. I love using them. I love practicing with them. Again, there is quite the learning curve with them. They're not like regular markers. So it takes you a little bit to learn how to use them correctly and so that you can, you know, do all kinds of other cool, fun stuff with them. But isn't that pretty? I love how that turned out. Even this peach one over here turned out really good. Do you see the gradient on that one? See how it like brightens up at the bottom and then it just boom color. This one, that one didn't gradient as much as I was hoping it would. But this one and that one did. So I really like the color of this one. That one turned out really good. That one turned out, I love the purple flower in the middle here. I might continue this page later. Uh, so I'm going to bookmark it with this scratch piece of paper that you keep seeing in all the videos. So yes, so that is my chameleon set of markers. Get out of the business. That is the 52 set markers that I got from, from Mr. Coffee. Again, I will link the Amazon link because I'm guessing that's where he got them from because that's where I first saw them, of course. So yeah. And so yeah, that is it for me, folks. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please put them down in the comment section below and I'll be happy to answer them to the best of my abilities. I got a stitcherista thing going on. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're a new subscriber and would like to see more random videos just like this, please feel free to hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified anytime I randomly decide to put up a video. And believe me, it's random. Sorry, this strap is killing me right now. <laughs> With that said, you guys, I'm going to bid you adieu. But not before trying to remind you to always try to be kind, be courteous, be cool. Bye, guys. First, I'm going to put the cat back on this.